So this person the other day was telling me about actually not having any kind of idea about what being a flat, like, like what being a globe person is, and that's what they call us now, it's globers, that's what these flurfers call us, it's globers, and they're out there talking about the rings of Saturn, and all this mumble jumbo about the monads, and how Judge Boaz was actually an experiment shot forth from the loins of Sophia and the firmament, and I'm just really glad that personally I get to sit around and think that... And other things that are important in life, like getting ahead in life and all of the actual injustices in the world, instead of pouring and wasting my time on all of this flat earth nonsense. I mean, what would be the point of the government hiding this from us? I'm happy being ball washed in this cult. I know we all have boring personalities, but we stick together. And I don't mind admitting I'm a cuck with the fragile beta ego. When somebody has a different opinion than me, I get upset. I start stuttering and referencing facts that I can't produce. I don't need facts anyway since I've already been told what to think. Ever since I've become an avid glober, my peen size has decreased drastically. My girlfriend left me because she says I'm obsessed with the globe. That's okay though, I got my own family of closed-minded globers and I don't want it any other way. I remarried within the globe community and I've never been happier. I love my globe daddy. In conclusion, Globers aren't a cult, we're a family. We don't need to think for ourselves because scientists do it for us. Oh, I'm content being a brainless Glober cuck in this cult. I love the lack of personality behind our fragile beta cuck frail ego. Since I joined the ball-washed cult and having a Glober daddy, I have no need to have sex anymore.